I hate saying foreign words because I always sound like a gringo. So fuck it. what's the? Well, how do you say like the 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 fucking the bee's knees but not white? The what? The fucking the cock. <laughs> Dude, I, I have an idea. I just I gotta execute it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. We'll talk about one. Oh yeah. Oh fuck yeah. Get it. Get it, bitch. Right in my power port. Mm. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? In today's video, I've got a pretty awesome build, which is the same fucking intro I've used for the past 15 videos. Hey guys, what's up? In today's video, we're building my new streaming PC. Simple as that. So, a couple videos ago, I took apart my last streaming PC, and now we're building the ultimate multi-streaming computer. And when I say ultimate, I mean it. This thing's gonna be fucking sick. There, there's no room for compromise. We, we went with the full fucking cojones here. Shit. As fuck. No, no, I never want to get caught saying that. What? Shit's fucking lit, dude. Okay. No, this is, gonna, this is gonna be a sick computer. So let's just let's just get into it. So, uh, small problem. I said we're gonna build the computer. I mean, if you look over here, the computer's like half built. So we're gonna go over the specs real quick, and then we'll build the rest of the computer, and then we'll do a quick test, and you'll see that this thing is fucking awesome. In our be quiet case here, it'll all be linked in the description below or in that little products tagging category. If you want to check out any of these cases, you know, uh, or anything in the, that I used in the video, I'll have it all tagged or in the description below so you can click on those links and, and check them out. And inside this case, we have already a fucking awesome build. This is a Threadripper CPU and motherboard combo. So we've got an Asus Prime X399A motherboard, an EATX behemoth of a board with a single TR4 socket. We have actually equipped my first CPU from the first PC I built. Now I had pre-built before that, before the first time I built a computer, I actually built a computer using Threadripper. And that's what we're using in today's build, my original Threadripper 2920X. That is a 12 core, 24 thread beast. And if it's not, we can always upgrade to a 32 core, 3990WX down the line if, if necessary. But once you see what else we have in this build, I don't think it will be. Although you could probably see it because they're all just sitting on the fucking table. And for our cooling, we have this Enermax Lictech 360 something or other for TR4. This is the one that had those problems where there was like corrosion in the loop. So I'm just gonna hope that doesn't happen. But if it does, we've got backup coolers for days. So that's fine. And that's all that is in the case right now. So we don't have a power supply, PCIe cards, SSD or anything else. And for all those, again, zero compromises. We've got some sick shit going in here. This is an EVGA 1300 G2, a 1300 watt, 80 plus gold beast of a power supply. But hey, if it's not overkill, I hope it gets fucking dies. I can't say that. <laughs> I know I can't say that. <laughs> and for our cables, which is, I know, wow, cables. But actually we have these custom fucking, I forgot what company makes these, this company, custom cable, cable mod, cable mod, got it, got to it. These cable mod EVGA custom white cables. I've had these since my first build as well because I used custom white cables for part of the upgrade when I didn't upgrade for it. So that's our power and that'll power all of our awesome components that we're putting in. Let's go with the capture cards first and then we'll come back to the graphics cards, which again, you can see on the disc already. That's why we're gonna be using Threadripper in today's build because we have so many PCI Express cards. So if you don't know, Threadripper is an HEDT CPU, high-end desktop platform. Therefore, it has a ton of PCI Express lanes. We're gonna be using all of those 64 PCIe Gen 3 lanes for all of our just fucking, again, amazing capture cards and graphics cards, and even networking is gonna take up a good eight. So to start off, we have an HD60 Pro, which is gonna use our PCI Express 1X. Realistically speaking, I don't really need this card, but I thought, hey, it can go for like a camera. I can use a DSLR as a webcam. So that's why we'll be using that. We also have an Avermedia Live Gamer Duo. This is a really cool capture card. So this can actually take two inputs. One of them passes through 4K to the HDMI output. So it can do up to 4K 60, 1440p, 144. So that's for your, your gameplay inputs, but they, do not compare to what I'm calling the big fucking cock. Now those would be the balls. And the next card I'm gonna call the shaft because this thing is fucking sick. This is the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K something. What the fuck is this thing called? This is the Blackmagic Decklink Quad HDMI. And this thing, whew, it's sexy. 
This can do 4K60 HDMI inputs for a total of 8K60 full resolution between the four inputs, making this essentially an 8K capture card. And yes, I know some people say, well, that's not 8K. You can actually make up a quad display mosaic using quadro cards, which we'll come back to in a sec, and actually get a single 8K display out of this card. So you can essentially record true native 8K video gameplay. So yeah, this thing is fucking sick. And finally, this isn't a capture card, but it's a 10 gigabit Intel SFP plus converged card. So it can do up to 20 gigabits per second. We'll talk about why we need that in a little bit, uh, but it's just, we have a 10 gig local network here. So might as well have 10 gig connection, especially since we're gonna be using this as a partially an editing NAS. I was saying we have to process a lot of video and I wasn't kidding. As you saw, we'll have more than four simultaneous 4K video streams. And that's not even including the HD60 Pro and half of the Gamer Duo. And that's not even to mention the fact we're also gonna to try to fit in a live Gamer 4K later on, but that's for a different time. The 2920X 12 core CPU is definitely plenty for some of that software encoding load, but to render all that video, we need 3D acceleration. And thankfully we have not one, but two Quadro workstation class graphics cards. So this is a Quadro RTX 4000, and this is an RTX A4000, and Nvidia named them like a bunch of fucking idiots. And whoever named these should be arrested and thrown in South Korean prison. You can't say that. <laughs> yes, I can. I can totally say that. I no. said South Korean. So starting off with the Quadro RTX 4000. This is a sick graphics card, which I'm going to say for both of them. So just deal with it. This has the GPU similar to an RTX 2070. So it's got eight gigabytes of VRAM. Uh, it's basically, it's a slightly cut down 2070 in terms of performance. It performs more like a 2060 in gaming or anything, but we're not using it for gaming, so it's perfect here. We're actually using it for its internal encoder and its 3D acceleration. The card will be more than enough, even on its own, but we're having two cards just to be sure. And thankfully this card has a USB-C output because I want to use a USB-C touchscreen display and this just makes it super easy for that. Now our other card might be a little more interesting. This is the RTX A4000, Nvidia's currently newest lineup of Quadro class GPUs. Fire! Okay, I've done that before. <laughs> now it has a much more muted design than the RTX 4000 Quadro fucking naming scheme, but it has a nice gold side thing. I don't know, I just think it looks really nice. But this one does not have the USB-C display port as the other one does, unfortunately, but that's fine. This has the GPU of an RTX 3070 Ti. And when I say GPU, I don't mean exact one for one, I'm just talking about the CUDA core count. And this actually has 16 gigabytes of GDDR6. So that is double the RTX 3070 and 3070 Ti. So See, we can use software encoding on our CPU for some of our footage, and we can use hardware encoding with the Turing and Ampere encoders on here for uh, our other video streams, and we should get similar quality. So we have plenty of processing here, and hopefully this will turn out all right. Now for RAM, we just needed a very stable kit. And so far, besides my red PCB dims, which are unfortunately in a different system, Kingston Fury Renegade DDR4 has been the most stable memory that I've had. This is a 32 gigabyte quad channel kit for our quad channel CPU memory controller. And 32 gigs should be plenty of RAM for this build. And finally for storage, again, zero compromises. We have an Intel SSD DC P4600. That is a U.2 SSD. So this is actually an NVMe SSD. Now with all that out of the way, Let's get into building. Okay, boy, hi. All right, guys, uh, I wanted to show off this Intel drive that I spent a lot of money on and thought it was really cool looking, so. Ta-da. Yeah, I'm sure that, I'm sure, I think it looks great. Fuck you. Now let's put in the RAM. I'm gonna try to hope this snaps sex, sex, sexual, sex, good. That's probably not gonna work, I can already guarantee. So we're gonna start from the bottom because I feel like that's gonna be easier. You're a bottom. No, you're a bottom. 
context. It just says who's the bottom. Yeah, focus on this, not me. I'm ugly. Oh, dude, the back is gonna look so sexy because every single expansion slot, except for like the tippy top, will be filled. And then we've got a 16x Pizza Express slot. So we're gonna go with our first graphics card, the Quadro RTX 4000. And now I'm really hoping, considering we're using a PCIe SSD as well, that it doesn't like disable any of our slots, which is not completely uncommon on boards like this. Despite Threadripper having 64 PCIe lanes, the way they're divvied up can be weird enough to the point where it just fully disables some slots when you use other ones, which is the most annoying fucking thing on the planet. Now we have an 8X here, so we're gonna go with our Black Magic quad deck link, whatever the fuck they called it. The shaft, as we called it before. We're gonna put the shaft in our build. Next, we have a 4X, so we're gonna put our live gamer duo. Dude, this is gonna be, this is so sexy. And then finally, we've got our RTX A4000 for the final come shot here. It's probably gonna be take out RAM, put back in RAM. Why the fuck is it always that, though? It's fucking beautiful. It's beautiful and it's fucking done. Look at all these devices. RTX 4000, RTX A4000, Blackmagic Deck Link for some fucking reason is like 16 devices, Blackmagic fucking Game Capture HD60, Live Gamer Duo. It is fucking beautiful. And it's done. Uh, now, uh, some of the RAM had to get taken out. I'll fix that later. Um, and I'm done. I quit. That's it. I'm ending my life. I mean, I'm ending this video. Look at that. Intel. Fucking sex beast. Look, sex fiend. Look at this shot right here, bro. Oh my god, that's so hot. It's loud as shit because it's a shit fan, but that's fine. We're done.